Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are doing a get to know me Q&A and I am also gonna announce the giveaway winner at the end of this video. So make sure to stay till the end. I asked you guys to ask me questions on the community tab. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little stuffed up, so if I sound funky, that's why. <laughs> you guys asked me a bunch of questions, some really, really good ones, and I'm very excited to answer them for you. I have a bowl of pasta here with me, and I also have a chrysanthemum tea drink. I have never heard of this before, but I really like to go to international markets and try things from different countries. Jeez, I can't talk. Deep breath. <laughs> so yeah, this one is a, where's this from? This is from Singapore and it's um, like the chrysanthemum flower. They made a tea from it. It's actually really, really good. Big fan. So yeah, that's what we got going on here today. I decided to film in my living room for a change just because I don't have to film my screen. So I thought we'd switch it up a little bit. This room gets like really good natural light. So <laughs> I'm gonna take advantage of it. I have missed you guys so much this past week. I went home to visit my family so I couldn't like film or anything, but I had so much fun. Um, today's actually my birthday. So we celebrated my birthday this weekend. I had to come back for school. Um, so yeah, I don't have school today though, and Carlos is still back home, so I'm all by myself, so I thought it would be a good time to film this video. I hope you guys are excited. Enough rambling, let's get on to some questions. What do you mean enough rambling? This is a Q&A, that's all I'm gonna do is ramble. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna answer all of the ones that have really have a lot of likes first, because obviously those are the popular ones. The most popular one is how old are you? <laughs> I've honestly been dreading answering this question just because... I don't know how to explain it, but I don't feel like my age reflects me. A lot of people think I'm like 19 or 20, but no. <laughs> Since today is my birthday, I'm actually 28 now. I'm 28 years old and I definitely don't feel it. I have the soul of like a 12 year old and a 70 year old combined. <laughs> so I guess if you average it out, that would be like 28. Do I have a job outside of YouTube? I don't currently. Um, I did back home. I worked at Michael's Arts and Crafts. I worked in the framing department, so I did like custom framing. Before that, I worked at GameStop for like three years. I worked at Forever 21 and I worked at a call center for Facebook. That was my first job, that was pretty fun. But no, I'm not working currently, I'm just doing school. I am like focusing on school so I can do the best, so I can be as uh, involved in it as possible. So yeah, I am lucky enough to not have to work right now. So yeah, that's that. How many dogs do you have? Um, this <laughs> this comment actually has multiple questions. How many dogs do you have? Can we see Carlos? What's your hair like and what's your ethnicity? Okay, so how many dogs do I have? Technically, okay, so <laughs> my living situation while I was growing up was pretty unique. I lived with my mom and my grandparents. My mom is a single mom, um, but we lived with my grandparents, so like all three of them raised me. So my grandparents have a dog. His name is Marley, I'll show pictures. He's actually blind, he has no eyes. And then there's Olive, who I got for my 16th birthday. Um, I'll show you a picture. <laughs> she is a Lhasa Apso, a lot of people ask. Um, she's crazy, she is crazy, but I absolutely love her. I didn't bring her with me to my new place just because she, She's getting old and our my household, my old house is what she's familiar with and my mom is the one who takes her to the groomer and to the vet and all that stuff, so. Yeah, and then there's Simba who is technically Carlos's dog but he brought him over to our new apartment so it's, he's technically both of ours now. So yeah, <laughs> I also have a cat. I have like a billion koi fish in the pond in our backyard and yeah, that's it. That's it for all my pets. Can we see Carlos? I wish 
He right now, I wish you could. He's uh, he's uh, still back home right now, which is really far away. Um, but I will definitely show him in a video soon. I'll show you guys some pictures right here. Let me know if you think that he looks like his sim or not. <laughs> What's your hair like? So this is my natural hair. I thought I would wear it out for this video in case you guys have never seen it. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, like my old ones. But yeah, this is my natural hair. It is the natural hair color. I have never dyed my hair. Um, I used to a lot. I used to dye it with box to dye constantly. I had so many different hair colors, so many different hair lengths growing up. I'll show you guys pictures because it's kind of a roller coaster. Um, but yeah, I stopped doing all that because I wanted my hair to be healthy. I chopped it really short at one point just because there was so much damage done to it and I let it grow and now it's pretty healthy. I'm pretty satisfied with where my hair is right now. Just the only thing that really sucks about it is I can't dye it because it's so fragile. It'll just break off if I bleach it. So I either dye it darker or I don't dye it at all. <laughs> so I'm just, I'd just rather keep my hair this color, I guess, and just wear wigs whenever I feel the need to have a different hair color. What's your ethnicity? So <laughs> I am a mix of so many things. I actually got my um, DNA tested on ancestry.com. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it like breaks it down by continent and then by country. So long story short, I'm black. I'm a little bit Mexican. I'm Scandinavian, Spanish, and British. Wow. What is your best advice for new YouTubers and are you planning on making other types of videos other than Sims? So let me give you a little bit of background of my YouTube experience. If you guys don't know, I have another channel. It started off as a beauty channel and then I started doing vlogs and then I started like really losing the passion behind it. So I kind of stopped making the beauty videos and I just kept doing my vlogs. I love doing vlogs because it's kind of like a, a video diary where you can like look back and see, look back on your memories and stuff. So I love it for that purpose. Um, but I just kind of lost the passion that I had for beauty and makeup. So, so I started making Sims videos because I really do enjoy the Sims. So my advice would be just keep going. If it's something that you're like really passionate about, I would definitely just start making videos as soon as you can. Start getting used to it because when you first start, it's going to be hard. Trust me, I was a trembling mess when I filmed my first video. It was, it it's really hard to watch now because I'm so much different because I'm so used to it. But you have to get over that like initial fear first and then your videos will just become so much better. And uh, I needed someone to tell me this before I started my channel, so I'm gonna be the one to tell you. Just do it, just start making videos. Like, I know it's scary, I know it's intimidating. Trust me, I was in your shoes and I had my aunt, my aunt was actually the one who told me to start making videos, who encouraged me to, who told me, what do you have to lose? Like, just film videos and if you don't like it, then stop. And if you love it, then there you go, you found something that you love and yeah, <laughs> if you don't try it, you'll, you'll never know. So my biggest tip for you is to just start. Just start making videos with whatever you have. You don't need expensive equipment to film videos. You really don't. There are so many free screen recording programs out there if you're trying to do Sims. There's so many um, free editing programs and <laughs> I, I'm sure everyone has a phone. So just use your phone to record it first. And so you can like save up some money to buy a good camera if it's something that you're serious about. So yeah, that's what I did. My other channel, I was making videos for, a th it's been four years since I started that channel. And I just recently reached a thousand, a thousand subscribers over there. So you can even just like imagine how excited I am that this channel has grown so much in just a few months. Like you just have to find your, you just have to find your thing <laughs> and you'll never know what your thing is unless you try. That is the end of my motivational speech. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, are you planning on making any other type of videos other than Sims? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if my subscribers would want to see that. So I guess I would like ask you guys first because, um, 
I started this channel mainly for Sims, but if you guys wanted to see something else, you just let me know in the comments and I have no problem with doing that. <laughs> All right, what's your dream vacation? What's your favorite Netflix show? If you could dye your hair any color, what would it be? Are you planning on having a meet and greet in the future? Okay, there's a lot, of, a lot to unpack here. What's your dream vacation? Oh man, my dream vacation, so like pretty much anything, I would want to travel the entire world. Like just boom, 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 go everywhere. Um, I wish I had enough money and time to do this. Maybe I will in the future, but I would love to like go on a world trip and hit like every major like area, like Japan, Scotland, like Rome and Italy and all that. I would love to visit Australia, Iceland, um, just like every like major culture, Vietnam, oh my gosh, I love Vietnamese food, Thailand, oh man. See, being a vegan though, it's like, <laughs> it's hard because I don't know, if I travel the world, I would want to eat like everything, but I can't eat everything, so that's pretty difficult. What's your favorite Netflix show? Um, it would have to be, let's see. I love Black Mirror. I think it's so cool and it seriously fries my brain, but in the best way. I really like Riverdale 2 and Umbrella Academy, even though there's only one season. I really, really enjoyed that season a lot. Uh, if you could dye your hair any color, what would it be? So I would love to have like grayish white hair, like the wig that I wear a lot. I don't know. I just really like it. It's different. It's unique. And I just think it's beautiful. I would also love to have like baby pink hair. So cute. Um, are you planning on having a meet and greet in the future? I didn't even realize that would like be something in my future. <laughs> it's just so crazy to think about, but I would love to do, I would love to do that. I would love to meet you guys. All right. What is your favorite wig you have? It's definitely the gray one, definitely. Hey, just a question. Do you care about global warming and how do you have such a young face? <laughs> global warming, oh my gosh, I could go on about that forever, but yes, I care about it. Yes, I believe it's something that's happening for sure and it's a big, big concern. Um, how do you have such a young face? I don't think I have a young face, so I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> All right, what other LPs do you want to undertake? Are you able to do a custom content video at all? Yes, I plan on doing a custom content video very, very soon. A lot of you guys ask for like how to download CC and like where I get all my CC. So I'll do a video that shows like everything, like the process that I go through to get it. And what other LPs do you wanna do? I wanna do a, a Realm of Magic LP for sure when it comes out. And I also wanna start another BitLife series, but as far as that question goes, I can't really think of anything else right now. What is your favorite Sims 4 expansion pack? That's such a hard question. Oh my God, that's so difficult. I'm gonna have to go with Seasons just because it makes such a big impact in your game and it's something that constantly makes an impact. Like, like with Get Famous, like it changes your game, but only if you like take the celebrity route with like, get to work it only changes your game if you go to work with them which i don't like doing um get together it only changes your game if you make a club you know what i mean so seasons is something that you constantly are aware of no matter how you're playing and that's why i like it so much do you plan on getting a gaming pc slash laptop as opposed to playing on your mac i am actually yeah i think this is actually one girl wolf pack i think this is actually the girl who messaged me on instagram because i posted i ordered <laughs> let me just answer the question first i'm getting way too ahead of myself I, yes, I am building a gaming PC right now. I ordered all of the parts and my friend is coming over this weekend to help me build it. And I posted some of the parts on Instagram and she was like, oh, that's the question I asked you on your Q and A. <laughs> so yeah, I am getting a gaming PC very soon. So I will be able to start streaming on Twitch. I'm so excited to like, be on that personal level with you guys and just like chat and play sims i can't even tell you how excited i am all right hey sav i have been an og girl and i have seen you grow your channel and it's incredible how big of a family you have now 
I've always wanted to know if you are to ever adopt another pet. Give me the details, sis. Uh, do you mean like in real life? <laughs> I would love to adopt another pet in real life, but Simba is such a handful. Like I can't even imagine having another pet on top of having him. So probably not for a really long time. Why did you start YouTube? Um, like I said earlier, it's always something that I wanted to do. Um, I have always been a creative person, like as long as I can remember, that's just like who I am. And I love photography, I love videography, I love just pretty much anything creative. So um, YouTube was just something that appealed to me. It was, it's like a creative outlet for me. Um, and yeah, that's why I started. What is your favorite video slash series you've done? Um, the Legacy Challenge, for sure. It's either the Legacy Challenge or my first season of BitLife Controls My Sims. That season will always be like a precious baby to me since that's what like, that was like the first real LP that I've ever done on my channel that I actually finished and it's what caught your guys' attention and I'm just, just really thankful for that one. Um, what's your favorite color slash style hair? <laughs> I love gray, silver, white hair. I think it's beautiful. And then I love short curly bobs. Do you have siblings? I actually don't. I'm an only child and I'm super, super thankful. <laughs> like I said earlier, it was just me and my mom and my grandparents. And honestly, I'm just like super thankful for my unique situation growing up. I'm so close to all of them and I honestly couldn't imagine it any other way so yeah when did you start playing the sims love you sav love you too madeline um when did i start when did the sims 4 even come out no sims 1 i mean sims 1 sorry i keep looking over here this is where my laptop is okay so the sims 1 came out in 2000 and i'm pretty sure that's when i played was when it first came out so yeah i played the sims one so much like so much that was my hobby i was constantly in the computer room playing my friends would come over and watch me play and i would occasionally let them let them play <laughs> but for the most part they would just watch me so yeah i played the sims one a lot i played the sims 2 a little bit i barely played the sims 3 and then the sims 4 i started playing again after a really long gap but i'm so thankful that i started playing again it's just so comforting to me it's like a stress reliever it makes me feel carefree again it makes me feel how i did when i was young -er. so yeah it holds it definitely holds a special place in my heart and it always will i've always been a fan of the sims uh let's see your favorite animal that's really really hard for me um i'm very passionate about animals um, like extremely, they make me very emotional and I just love them so, so much. Like I can't go to the zoo without crying. It's kind of ridiculous. But if I were to choose a favorite, who am I kidding? I can't choose. I really can't. What's the weirdest thing about living by yourself? So I don't technically live by myself. I live with Carlos right now. He works a lot, so I am by myself a lot, but I would say the weirdest thing is probably like being alone. I'm not used to it. I'm always used to having someone home, having someone around, having someone doing something and me just like being here in silence. <laughs> It is strange, it is strange, but I'm getting used to it. It's also weird that I can like walk around my house with like no pants and no one can say anything to me. I don't know, this is nice. How long have you been on YouTube? So my other YouTube channel is about four years old and then this channel, I, I made some speed builds and I tried some Let's Plays like a year ago and they were really bad. So I have those on private right now. <laughs> Um, but I have been like actively on this channel for about four months. Do you plan on playing Minecraft? I've never played Minecraft in my life and I don't plan on it. But if you guys want me to try it out and like do like first impressions, I'm more than happy to do that. Do you play any other games apart from The Sims? Yes, I'm a huge video game person. I worked at GameStop for three years, like I said earlier. Uh, I love RPGs. I think that they're the best type of game. They're just so interactive and so customizable. I think that's why I love The Sims so much. My favorite video game is Skyrim and The Sims, of course. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, oh, I really love the Bioshock series as well. If you and your boyfriend decided to have kids, what would you name them if it were a girl or a boy? Um, so I said that I would be like playing the legacy challenge as if like I was living my real life. So I do love the name Max for a boy. I've always loved it. I really like the name Ren too. I don't know. I would probably go with those two. <laughs> Uh, what do you want to achieve through your channel? Also, I love your channel. Thank you, the Sylve Simmer. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know what I want to achieve through my channel. It's purely a hobby for me, and I just didn't expect it to blow up the way that it did. I just want to keep making videos, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> how have you and Carlos met, and how long have you been together? So we're from the same small town, and as you guys probably know living in a small town you like know everyone you like see them at school you go to school together growing up and all that kind of stuff so Carlos and I we went to middle school together and then we went to high school together for one year and then I transferred to a different school um, so we kind of always knew of each other but we didn't start dating until we started like messaging on Facebook <laughs> so yeah we technically got to know each other on the internet um, we were friends for about two years before we started dating and um, three days ago was actually our four year anniversary. We were together, we were friends for two years, we were dating for one year and then we have been officially dating for four years. So, wow, I've known him for seven, seven years. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That is so crazy. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. So basically our anniversary is September 2nd. His birthday is September 4th and my birthday is September 5th. Something really crazy about us is we were born in hospital rooms next to each other. So in one room, his mom was wrapping up having him and then my mom started having me. So that's like a fun little thing <laughs> about our relationship. Would I rather have a dog or a cat? I love them both, but I prefer a dog. Why are your videos so entertaining? I love you and your videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Summer Aesthetic. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> when did you get into wearing wigs? So I got into wearing wigs when I first started my other YouTube channel. I love to dress up too. Like dressing up is my favorite thing ever. I love Halloween. I love all that all cosplaying, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'll show you some pictures of like my previous costumes from previous Halloweens. Um, yeah, I just love it. I just love like changing up my look. I think it's so much fun. So yeah, that's what got me into wearing wigs. I liked wearing them in my videos to make them more interesting. What do you think you're gonna do for 10K? I love you. I love you too, Anyan. I hope that's how you pronounce it, but I love you too. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do for 10K. Am I supposed to do something? Someone messaged me and said, you should get yourself a 10K cupcake. And I was like, is that a thing? Cause that's like the cutest thing ever. And now I really want one. <laughs> Cause that kind of is a huge milestone. It is. And I have no idea what I'm gonna do. What should I do? I don't know. I've never done this before. So I'm just as lost. <laughs> How do you manage your time between college and YouTube? So, um, well, it's only been like a week that I've been in college almost two weeks. Um, and it's been pretty easy because like the first days of class are always easy, you don't really do much. So I have yet to figure out how I'm going to manage my time, but hopefully I will. I just need to keep on it. I need to do my homework as soon as I get home and then maybe film videos at night. But um, I know that I'm going to keep up with it, I promise. What hobbies are you into other than playing The Sims? Love you, I love you too, Joanna. So like I said before, I'm like a really artsy person. So I love doing art, I love doing graphic design, I love eating, <laughs> I love going out to eat, I love trying new food, that's like one of my favorite things to do, definitely. I love to go to the movies, like film and theater and all that kind of stuff, I just absolutely adore. I love playing video games. Oh, how could I forget this? It's such a big part of my life, but I love to go to Disneyland. Carlos and I have annual passes and we live about two miles from the park. So we go about two to three times a week. Disney has always been such like a huge part of my life ever since I was a kid. So yeah, 
it's still a big part of my life now. I absolutely love going. So if you ever see me around, say hey! And if you ever <laughs> notice a Disney reference in my videos, that's why. Do you like to build in The Sims? I absolutely like to build in The Sims. I love being creative. What cheers you up when you're having a bad day? Disneyland, Disney movies, playing The Sims, reading your guys' comments, spending time with Carlos and Simba, spending time with my family, even though that's not that accessible anymore, but I like to talk to them. I like to lay on the couch and eat and watch movies. <laughs> Where did you get your education? P.S. You're amazing. Thank you, De Dayanara. <laughs> uh, so I'm currently in university right now. I went to commu community college before this and I took my time there, but I got three degrees. So I have three degrees right now, but I'm getting a bachelor's degree at university. Um, and that was back home. And I'm getting my education currently at Cal State Fullerton, which is in Southern California. Who's your favorite singer? I don't really have a favorite singer. Um, but when I think about it, Brendan Urie, I think has such a unique and beautiful voice. I'm a huge fan of him from Panic at the Disco. Do you watch any other simmers on YouTube? If so, what ones? Love your channel. Thanks, Abby. Uh, yeah, I watch Claire, I watch Deligracy, and who else? Plumbella sometimes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Wow, 7K already, congrats. Thanks, Rachel. What inspired you to become vegan? How did you convince Carlos? <laughs> so I'll tell you my story actually, I'll make it quick. I was on a diet for a long time, so I wasn't eating red meat. And uh, so I cut that out of my life pretty easily just because of like health reasons and I wanted to lose weight. And then I realized that that was really easy. <laughs> so I just cut out chicken and fish and that was pretty easy too. Um, the hardest part was cutting the dairy because dairy isn't absolutely anything like things you wouldn't even think of You like read the ingredients and there's milk in it and you're like what why this could totally be made without milk But yeah, that was hard, but I just decided to do it. I watched that documentary what the health on Netflix and that completely like flipped a switch in my mind so yeah. <laughs> okay, I've been filming for quite some time, so I gotta like pick and choose what questions now. Oh, she asked, how did I convince Carlos to be vegan? Um, he decided for himself and it was because of health reasons. Why don't you do a Get Famous series? That'd be fun. Will you be a couples channel with your boyfriend? <laughs> Probably not. He doesn't play The Sims. Where are you from? I'm from California. I was born on the central coast, so like right in the middle of California, right by the ocean. I was like five minutes from the beach, but now I'm in Southern California and I'm in Orange County. Will you do vlogs? I do vlogs in my on my other channel, so if you wanna go subscribe over there, I will link it down below <laughs> to my other channel. What is your dream job? My dream job is definitely to work for Disney doing something, whether it be graphic design or Photography or something, but graphic design is my major, so I think that would be awesome to do something for Disney with that. Um, love your videos. Also, your hair and makeup are always goals. Thank you, Charity. Um, I get my wigs from Amazon. They're all from Amazon, and they're really inexpensive. What's your favorite color? It's definitely um, like, te like a grayish teal. What do you prefer, Alpha CC or Maxis Match? Definitely Alpha for like create a sim, but Maxis Match for build items. Okay, I really like this question. Congrats, so well deserved, thank you. My question is how do you stay motivated? I'm sure it gets exhausting sometimes to find the mojo to film sometimes or study, etc. And it's great to know what works for other people. <laughs> Very true. Um, so when I need to get motivated, I drink coffee. <laughs> I also just start doing it. Like I know that once I start, I'll probably finish it. It's just like, for me, it's like getting there. It's like getting up, getting to school or like getting up and starting to study or like getting up and like starting to film, like if I'm tired or whatever. But like once I do it, I'm just like, okay, this is not that bad. And I just kind of like think of how great it's gonna be when I'm done. <laughs> So yeah, I also like to treat myself. So like once I'm done doing something that I'm dreading, I will like have a dessert or I'll have like boba or something like that. Just, I like to like reward myself, just like a dog. 
<laughs> Horoscope is Virgo. Uh, what Mac do I have? I have a 2019 MacBook Pro. I also have a 2017 iMac, the 27 Retina one. Do you think Sims helps people with mental disorders? For me, it's not only a funny game, but something that helps me through, helps me through, helps me to understand life better. That's so cool. I never thought of it that that way, but that is, I guess that's totally right. Cause it's like, you're kind of like living someone else's life through the Sims. So I guess you can just like understand like social norms and like what is good and bad in like certain situations. So yeah, I think that's awesome. And I definitely think it could help people. Could you do a challenge where you have a male sim and have a hundred babies with women? Ooh, girl, that's spicy. iPhone or Android? iPhone, 100%. What is your whole name? My whole name is Savannah Ray Campos. Love your vids, thank you. Kaylin. <laughs> okay guys, that is all the questions that I'm going to ask because otherwise this video is gonna be like 1800 billion years long. So it is now the time that you have all been waiting for. I'm going to announce the winner of the giveaway. I just wanna say a few things. First of all, I hope that you guys, after I announce the winner, I hope that you guys stay subscribed. I hope that you guys stay following my Instagram and all that kind of stuff because I don't know, it would just make me really happy and it would warm my heart knowing that you're only subscribed because you like my videos and not because of this giveaway. I will be randomly announcing uh, giveaways in my videos probably forever just to give you guys something back <laughs> for um, being a part of this family. So yeah, if you stay subscribed, if you keep watching my videos, you will be able to see more giveaways in the future. So long story short, I hope you stick around. And thank you so much for all your nice comments. It was such a joy reading them all. And I'm just so very happy. All right, guys, let's get a drum roll going for the winner. And the winner is, I'm gonna butcher your name, Zoe Charalambus. <laughs> Zoe Charalambus, sorry. That's a really, really difficult last name. But yeah, congratulations, Zoe. Thank you so much for your nice comment. I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can see it. So let's give a round of applause for Miss Zoe. So, so stoked for you. Message me on Instagram and we will uh, get all the things worked out, what expansion you want and all that. I'm really sorry for everyone who didn't win this round. Hopefully the next one you'll have better luck. And the next video I'm going to be uploading is probably going to be 100 Baby and then after that will be Legacy and then after that will be Rags to Riches. So stay tuned for those videos. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.